In this video, we examine the advantages and limitations of limestone as a supplementary cementitious material, or SEM, to serve as a partial replacement for clinker in cement production to reduce its environmental impact. When used as an SEM, limestone is not calcined and therefore does not emit CO2 as in clinker production. As SEM, limestone is added at the grinding stage or ground separately and intermixed after grinding. We must be concerned about how this affects the respective particle size distribution of cement and limestone and thereby properties as strength, durability and workability. As explained in previous videos, in first order, the setting and hardening of mineral binders results from precipitation of hydrates that occupy a larger volume than the starting volume of reactive solids before their reaction with water. In the video, Supplementary Cementitious Materials and the Norms, we saw that cements are classified first in terms of their long-term strength, taken at 28 days, and then in terms of their early strength, taken at 2 days. We begin by considering the longer term strength to reduce the relative importance of hydration kinetics. In this regard, the use of limestone alone as SCM is limited. Indeed, it does not get involved in the pozzolanic reaction that we have seen to involve calcium hydroxide and an amorphous silicate or aluminosilicate reacting to form CSH or CASH. However, in the video OPC Hydration, we saw that limestone can react with tricalcium aluminate, or C3A, present in OPC to form carboaluminates, which are part of the family of layered calcium aluminate phases, noted AFM. In absence of limestone, the phase assemblage would evolve to include a sulfate AFM phase referred to as monosulfate. When limestone is present, it leads to the preferential formation of carboaluminates rather than monosulfate. Consequently, all sulfates in the system are available to participate in the precipitation of etrangite. In reality, in most cases, even OPC contains up to 5% limestone, and therefore, the reaction leading to the precipitation of carboaluminates is more commonly observed than that of monosulfate. Overall, we can look at the implication of ending up with monocarbonate and etrangite instead of monosulfate and limestone. For this, let us first recall and expand the cement chemistry notation. We previously saw that C, S, A and H respectively represent calcium oxide, silicon dioxide, aluminum oxide and water. For CO2, we will use the traditional notation C superscript, which is easier to display than C small cap, most often used nowadays for typographical convenience. For SO3, we will use the dollar sign, which is more convenient than the traditional S superscript or the increasingly used S small cap. With this in hand, we now consider the following chemical reaction. 3 moles of monosulfate plus 2 moles of limestone and 18 moles of water give 2 moles of monocarbonate and 1 mole of etrangite. Changing from a molar to a volumetric stoichiometry, we get that 1 unit volume of monosulfate plus 0.08 unit volumes of limestone and 0.35 unit volumes of water give 0.57 unit volumes of monocarbonate and 0.75 unit volumes of etrangite. The initial solid volume that combines monosulfate and limestone is 1.08 and increases to 1.33 if it transforms to the combination of monocarbonate and etrangite. This corresponds to a 23% increase in solids volume that contributes to filling the porosity and thereby can make a reasonable contribution to strength gain. It can, in fact, be shown that replacing small amounts of clinker with limestone increases strength. However, because the amount of C3A is low, 
This effect only allows limited levels of clinker substitution on the range of 5 to 10%. Beyond that, reduced long-term strength should be expected. The fact that limestone can react with aluminates to produce useful binding phases, but that OPC contains only limited amounts of it, calls for adding, alongside the limestone, SEMs that contain a fair amount of aluminates. This brings us to mixed binders, which in European norms include an M labeling, along with an identification of the SEMs used. In this respect, an example of rising interest is the limestone calcine clay cement, termed LC3, and which is the object of a separate video. Our previous considerations mainly relate to the long-term strength, assuming the cement and SEM have had a long enough time to react extensively. However, in practice, the early strength plays an important role since it influences the rate at which construction may proceed and formwork reused. In this respect, limestone has been found to be beneficial since its surfaces are very favorable for CSH, which readily deposits and grows on them. While this happens on most surfaces of other SEMs, its extent is particularly pronounced for limestone. This effect is accentuated by the fact that limestone is less rigid than clinker, so that it tends to have finer particle sizes when co-ground with clinker. The combination of higher specific surface area and surfaces very favorable for CSH to grow leads limestone cements to hydrate a bit faster than OPC. At early ages, this can, in part, compensate for the dilution effect due to replacing clinker by limestone, thus helping to achieve decent early strengths up to clinker replacement levels of about 20%. For not losing strength at later ages, maximum replacement levels are rather on the order of 5 to 10%. A downside of the lower stiffness of limestone is that it becomes more difficult to grind the clinker finely in co-grinding, which rapidly becomes a dominating negative factor in early strength development. Thus, when trying to increase early age clinker reactivity, through such co-grinding, there is a risk to run into overgrinding, whereby the final cement includes much overground limestone, which is detrimental to fluidity. For this reason, separate grinding of clinker and SEMs is gaining interest. In conclusion, despite often being perceived as non-reactive, limestone can lead to the formation of useful hydrates, in particular carboaluminates, that result from its reaction with aluminate-containing phases. As the amount of aluminates in OPC is limited, including aluminate-containing SEMs alongside limestone represents a valid proposition for low-carbon cements.